Welcome back, attractive and well-educated watchers, to Empires of the Undergrowth and our wonderful colony, the Golden Empire. Last time we left off, we found out how to use Mortar Girls. That's right. And now we've got like 20 Formica Rufa for Mortar Ants. However, that's not enough for our colony. And our colony is low at running low on resources. So, we're gonna have to take Challenge 2.2, Queen of the Hill. Now on this particular one, we're going to put it on easy mode, because we don't actually remember what we're doing here. Uh, Mortar, of course, will be the one that we take, because Mortars are best. We put the more in Mortar. Alright. Survive four days. A number of small Formica, Rufa, and Fusca colonies have established themselves on this beach. Those nearest to the water's edge have enjoyed the first pick of the washed up seafood for the past few days. Mm. However, as the sun and moon near alignment and the first spring tide of the month approaches, right. high tide draws nearer to these intrepid ants. Seemingly aware of their circumstances, these colonies are preparing to relocate to higher ground. Like you do. There is only one way up the bank, and the route is currently occupied by a small roofer colony. These defenders will have to hold their ground against the oncoming siege. It will be three days before the high tide washes away the competition. If the colony survives, Gotta. it will inherit the beach. Good. But this won't be an easy fight. Okay, you know what we gotta do? We gotta set down our wood. Or by wood we mean like our food areas, because they put little uh, thingamaboops down. Alright. Like, as quickly as possible. A new worker group will be put down there. What's outside? Aphids. Oh, super important. Although the nests nearer the water have better access to the food washed up by the sea, this roofer colony need not starve. The plant life growing nearby is home yep. to herds of grey aphids. As Excellent. they feed on plant sap, these tiny insects excrete droplets of honeydew, which the wood ants find irresistible. Oh yeah, it's true. They need only protect the aphids from it. danger to receive a constant supply of sugary liquid. Doing so is not always simple, however. Hungry ladybird beetles know exactly where the aphids like to graze. It's true. They can so strip an unguarded stem bare in a mere matter of minutes. The ants will need to keep a close watch over their flock. Oh yeah. They're already attacking. Oh yeah, look at them. They're eating all the seafood down there. Can't let that be. But we do have some baby ants. Why do they keep switching over? Oh, Bill, they fly. Okay, duh. Yeah, Alright, bring the dew back. Once you attack the lady beetles, they presumably leave after long enough. Alright, now we're bringing the dew back. Ooh, look at that, nutritious dew. Excellent. Alright. Now we're talking. Are we getting our first dew back? Root, aphids, feed it. Yeah, okay. We got that one. 
I said we got that one, buddy. Ladybirds feed on aphids. Yeah, okay. They run away after taking damage. Yep, just gotta keep them off. And keep up with the production of worker girls. Once we have enough worker girls, we will very quickly move to soldier girls. Like, very, very quickly. And once we have soldier girls, we will proceed to take over the rest of the log. From there, food will cease becoming such an issue. Ladybirds leave after taking so much damage, so things become a little bit easier. Once we fill this chamber, we'll be able to supply near-constant food uptake from our aphids. It's just how we roll, you know? Uh, taking our aphids from us. So mean. Almost done with this chamber, guys. Almost done. Lamb. Just three more. And once we got that, straight on to Soldier Girls. Soldier Girls will clear out the log and allow us more food for Mortar Girls. Yes. And Soldier Girls will, of course be located right at the front. We don't mess around in this particular roof of call. Nope. No messing around at all. Party of Formica Fusca Black Ants are heading inland. The high ground roofer colony must defend their territory. What? Attack! Take him out! Take them all out. We don't know if we can actually survive this one first. Okay, yeah. It's serious now, folks. We gotta get those soldier girls out and going. needs to expand inward and outward. The roofer colony on the low ground are sending troops to clear a path for their queen. The high ground colony must what? keep them at bay. No! Stay away! The ants will fight to the death. Yeah! Face him down, girls. Yeah, take him out. They don't stand a chance. Feedback, soldier girls, your time has come. This is your chance. This is gonna be your time to shine, soldier girls. 
The lower ground colonies yeah. have relented. Size and frequency of ladybird attacks. Is their siege for now. Night approaches. And with it, it brings a host of nocturnal predators oh, out well. onto the beach. The high ground ants could go underground to wait out the night, but they would have to leave their precious aphids unguarded. Oh, yeah. It is a difficult choice for this colony. Face the peril out in the open, or hide away and risk losing their only reliable source of food. You gotta, you gotta keep it up overnight. And upgrade all them food places. The workers have done all they can to improve these food stores. Good. Make more soldier girls. Bam. <clears throat> yeah, don't worry, they'll take it down. We're not so worried about that. It's the lady beetles that get us. Okay, come on. There's gotta be something over here. Yeah, they're gonna take those down, it'll be fine. And we're just gonna get more food from it. Come on, soldier girls. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. And this will be our Rufa Mortar Girl chamber. Well, they're gonna take them down. Meanwhile, we continue. No. No, this is bad. They can eat everything over here, for all we care. But this is our main... main area, and, uh... They're doing a bad thing, okay? Gotta take down the... things attacking our flock. It's okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Hopefully it will be fine. It's quite suspenseful, actually. Take it down, girls. You can do it. Don't be scared of the devil's coach horse. Oh! Something sounded like it died. Oh yeah! The Devil's Coach Horse died! Yeah! Take him down, girls! The farm is safe! Yes! Get rid of the interlopers. The day will be here soon. And this will be the day we're waiting for. Nice. He's tearing apart that devil's coach horse. Don't let any of them get to us. Save the aphids. Wow, that Devil's Coach Horse really does have a lot of food to it, doesn't it? I'm gonna change these guys, put them over here. We're going to tell the Soldier Girls to go back to Nest. And 
and we're gonna start building some Arufa right there. Just two for now. That's fine because we're gonna expand with our soldier girls even further. All the way, really. Now that the soldier girls are in the house, it's all great. It's all gonna be great, and it's all gonna stay great. We're gonna make this colony great. Oh yeah, we went there. Just gonna keep it up. Predators are loose in the nest. The Take it out. must be protected. Boop. Go. 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 We got this. Dawn breaks. Take it down. And the battle for the high ground will soon continue. The high ground colony defended their aphid flocks well, succeeding in securing nice. vital food supplies to see them through the oncoming onslaught. As you do. Oh, got the soldier girls. Send the soldier girls. And the mortar girls. Now is their chance. Yup. Good, good. Take it down, the monster. Yeah. Continue on. Protect the queen. Supply the brood. The Fusca colony is sending a wave of warriors to clear a path for their queen. Is that so? There are intruders in the nest. Don't worry, soldier girls will take care of this quite quickly. Ah, take them down. Take them down. More soldier girls. More mortar girls. Back out to the farms. From now on, the colony will the be able to colony guard itself. Are sending another assault. They are desperate to reach higher ground. And you know what? They're gonna lose before they even get into the frickin' place. Ooh. Denied before you even got into the lawn. Urgh. Oh, we guess we need to stop them at the door. Take them out, soldier girls. Still just gladly sucking up nectar. Hey, we can't. The colony is starving. Oh, okay. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. That's not just, that's just not true. Oh, but you know what we do need to do? There just aren't enough workers to feed the brood. More black ants are emerging from the Fusca nest. Are they? Should we be concerned? We don't think so. And when they go to work on those, they'll pick up the shrimp. Allegedly. 
these workers will take on the other farm. Yup. For now, actually, we might as well send... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, boom. Just taking everything we can. More soldiers are emerging from the roof of nest. That's okay. We got our soldier girls on it. Don't worry, we're spreading the out their begun. force. The battle has begun! Don't worry. This one's gonna be over relatively quickly. It isn't even gonna be a problem. Alright. Soon enough. Workers galore. Have we taken them all out? Not quite all of them? Yes, all of them. All right, go back over here. Now we have the capability to get all of them. And as long as we can just get the soldier, or sorry, the worker production up, then... We'll have workers over here more instead. Night falls and a temporary truce emerges between the warring colonies. Right. Once again, the high ground wood ants must make a choice. Do they defend the aphids? Yeah. Or will they hide, resting their forces until the morning? Nope. We're gonna build. That's how we do. Gotta keep going. Don't just survive. Thrive. While we're at it, how many are being built down here? Don't just survive, thrive. The workers have done all they can to prepare this brood chamber. Nice. Better batter, soldiers. Take them out. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. Well, that's just not going to be a thing for very long, we promise you. Oh dear. Alright. And then soon... When that's done... We go and we take out those guys. Alright. Then they'll bring back the rest. And then our dudes can go take care of this. Take them down, girls. Yeehaw. Got a little bit more. Bam. Even in times of tragedy. Oh, this one's not going to last long. The might of the colony will come upon it. Not enough, son. Yeah, not enough gonna be taken down. Still just not enough. Take them down, girls! Oh, no!
Okay, good. Alright, next is this. We need to get at least one force taken care of. Alright. Is that this one? It looks like it's gonna be this one. Yep, okay. Boom. Now soldier girls can go this way. Oh, are they fleeing into the day? No. No, it's just doing stuff. All right. So now we're pulling tremendous amounts of... You girls don't have to be there, you know. We're actually pulling tremendous amounts of effort here. Get it. Get it, girls. We need your mortar powers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, do it. You can do it. Taken down. Do it. No aphid shall go unsaved. And we will completely recoup our losses before the end of the night. We're sure of it. Definitely. Okay, how are we doing over here? It'll get figured out. Actually, we are just gonna send our dudes over here because we've got plenty doing their job. Nothing? How come you gotta let them just eat your aphids, dude? Oh, uh, it's because they're not... Whatever. That's okay. You know why it's okay? Because we have this. And... Uh, something else? Question mark? Where's the big fight? Anywhere? Nowhere. Yeah, now take him down. Alright, and we do have food again, which is exciting. Nice, indeed. Not only do we have food again, but we have, Dawn like, breaks, all of the food. And the battle for the high ground will soon continue. The high ground colony defended their aphid flocks well. Yeah. Succeeding in securing vital food supplies to see them through the oncoming onslaught. Because that's how we do. Get rid of those things before they hurt our poor little baby aphids. Uh, okay, we're gonna have soldiers taking care of the job there for a little bit. Because, uh, that's the way to do. And sadly, our baby worker colony is not quite doing as well as it should. Alright, so for now, things are actually pretty darn good. We're working on some serious aphid farming here. More black ants are emerging from the Fusca nest. Which means that the soldier girls and the mortar girls have a place here. Yep. Arr, take it down. Take it down. There are intruders in the nest. Intruders in the nest. Nope. Never mind. We can deal with that. Those that can take a break will take a break right here and make the final stand to protect the queen! Yeah! 
Yeah, protect the queen. You can do it. It is indeed looking like they're finally bringing some uh, helpers over here. Although, realistically speaking, we should do something along these lines. More soldiers are emerging from the Rufa nest. That's okay. We got this. Give the queen a little bit of a bigger cohort. Take him down. Oh, it's sad that so many of our farmers get, like, wiped out all the time, but it's just one of those things that has to be done to soften up and continue infrastructure. You know? Oh, we guess it doesn't match in. Well, whatever. Take him down, girls. Take him down. And while we're at it, let's do some renovations right in the middle of combat. Bam. Yeah, what do you got? Nothing. That's what you got. Doink. Both yeah, lower ground doink. colonies are now sending out armies at the same time. Oh, jeez. Some will get by. And those ones will provide even more food. Boop. 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 And you know what? It's time. We're going to use our incredible food bonus to just completely upgrade and overwhelm. Yeah. So now we've got more baby ants coming out. Yeah. That's where it's at. We're upgrading everything. And we're finishing our mortar battalion. Black ants and wood ants are heading from their nests to the high ground. Stop them at the door as usual, girls. Oh dear. Here it goes. The ants will fight to the death. The ants will fight to the death. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, jeez, here it goes. The fight is outside at first, of course. These are just basic workers doing basic jobs, like delivering eggs around. Not gonna happen. It's not going to happen. Bring the fight to them. Don't even let them get in your way. Get out of there. Protect the aphids. Night falls, and a temporary truce emerges yeah. between the warring colonies. Once again, the high ground wood ants must make a choice. Do they uh, defend the aphids? Or will they hide, resting their forces until the morning? We must... We must... take on everything. We must consider more soldier ants. Huh. As like a... a secondary group. And those will go here. Oh yeah. Pull 
one double duty. Keeping it locked in. Keeping it going. Nice. How are we doing out here? Taking things down. Got it, right? A hermit crab. Oh, that's not what we wanted at all. This is definitely not what we needed. It's okay, soldier girls are on their way. Take them out, girls. The acid is really flying tonight. Don't worry, reinforcements have arrived and they're bigger and better than ever. Yeah, taking them down. Not even a thing. But a soldier girl's job is sadly never done. We will have a lot of food, though. Like, we do have a lot of food, actually. So we're going to pull the smart, responsible thing and soldier girl it up. Oh yeah, look at that. Boom, bam. Whole new regiment of soldier girls. All to guard the nighttime colonies. Alright, two seconds. I'm gonna move this one back. Alright. Soldier girls go here. And uh, soldier girls. Oh, come on, man. Soldier girls go here. And soldier girls go here. Now our colonies may safely not get completely wrecked. Oh, jeez, and they really do just do their fair share of killing, don't they? Take them out. Damn, look at that. Done. Nothing, son. And we can finish up our mortars. Damn. Look at that. Maximum strength soldier girls, you say? Don't mind if we do. We're pulling in so much ridiculously much food at this point. Oh, oh, we have a soldier girl attacking. Yep, hermit crab attack. This is what happens. Now, with the dedicated attention of the nest, nobody can stop them. We won't be needing mortar girls anymore on the front lines. Fortunately, we'll be able to allow our murder girls to stick back in the nest and chill like we do. But, and we think you see what's going to happen for this particular episode. Yep. The enemies are the going to must be defend away. themselves. Oh, the ants will defend themselves. That's for sure. The colony sure. is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. Oh, there will be. That's not gonna be a thing for long at all. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, as we said, not gonna be a thing for very long. Give flight. 
And let that be that. It does appear like we're coming into the next day. Last night's high tide was yep. dangerously close to the low ground nests. Today is oh, their yeah. last chance to relocate. The low ground colonies won't show any restraint. Nope. Their attacks will be desperately vicious. Fortunately oh, yeah. for the high ground colony, many aphids survived the night. Access to food will be pivotal for the upcoming battle. You know it. We need more soldier girls. The colony needs to be at maximum power. With maximum soldier girls. And probably maximum mortar girls. We think, given the circumstances, it's probably best to send our first soldier girl team in. And dig straight out. We're going all the way for this one. A large black ant force has been sent from the Fusca Nest. Put the soldiers where they need to be. There are intruders in the nest. Oh, we bet there are. Take them down, girls. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Yep. Alright. Front of the nest needs covering right now. All workers on site. All right, swarm in. All right. More wood ants are heading toward the high ground colony. Oh, jeez. can send worker girls in as quickly as do possible. Once they take care of that, we can easily send them back off to the nests. Alright. No! They're stealing our important dew! Step up our daily. Move things out. These guys can do whatever they want. They are now starting to compete with us over the same aphid farms. Cannot be allowed. Both lower ground colonies are now sending out armies at the same time. That's okay, they'll have to go through the first lines. will be integrally weakened. And then they'll have to fight on both sides as our hunters come or as our aphid farmers come back. We think this is gonna be okay. Boop, boop. The workers have done all they boop. can to prepare this boop. brood chamber. Boop. Will they fight? We will increase our power. Oh, nope. We're going to post our Formica Rufa Mortar Girls right in the center area here. Actually, we're going to post them, like, right here. To attack literally anybody that comes into view. Over. The low the day ground is almost is already over. starting to flood. The lower ground nests are emptying completely. And the ants are rushing up the bank. Desperate. This is their final assault. It's the queen! Take her out! Take out the queen! Kill her! Get her! Get her! 
Take her out. If you kill the queen, it's over. Get her! Get her! Don't even let her gain entry to the nest. Take her out. Yeah, take her out. Done. Done, girlfriend. You won't even get in the door. Yeah. Oh, she's a tough one. But not tough enough. Yeah. That is how you do. Them flooded us high ground survivors. That's what we're talking about. That is how you do all of that. The Boom. The advance upon the hill have finally defeated their would-be successors. Yeah. Tomorrow their empire will expand to the undefended intertidal flats below. Good. Commanding both the aphid farms and the bounty of the sea. Good. This colony will rise to become an undeniable power in the undergrowth. Excellent. An empire of the undergrowth, as one might say. Victory for Formica Rufa. Yeah, we didn't actually remember this challenge. This was really fun. Um, as you all know, we are essentially always going to extract royal jelly first. Uh, alright. Bam. No achievements, but whatever. We're not looking for achievements here. We're looking to, you know, have fun and give people a good time and show people how the game works. No. No, that's a deadly thing. Get it out of here. We don't like that kind of thing. No, we do not. Attack it. Attack it with everything you've got. Nope. Nope, not caring. Uh, that thing gonna die. We do not like it. No, we do not. Yeah, that's what we thought. Get that, get that thing out of here. And is everybody just going to eat it up? But but eat them up? Seems like it. Alright. Wait until it goes away. And wow, these guys are really clearing the seeds. That's good. They can clear seeds too. Good. And look at that. Bam. Just filling that place up. Alright. So we're getting 28 more area. But we don't really have anything to do with that. So instead what we're going to do. Cannot. If you have self-preservation. What do you mean self-preservation? Oh self-repair self-preservation. Okay. Uh... We like self-repair. Wait, one moment. Weakening or crippling. Target takes an extra 40% further damage for 1.5 seconds. Ooh. Ooh. We like that. We're going to make our mortar girls cripple those that they hit. That sounds awesome we don't know about you but that sounds pretty awesome increase attack damage by three times making workers reasonable fighters workers no longer slowed on nurseries while not in combat 95 percent chance of no damage cannot take more than 20 percent in a single oh that's nice we're gonna make them aggressive Wait, one moment. Aggressive booed. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do that. So now, not only will our worker ants be mean, but our worker ants will be really mean. They're basically soldiers now. All of our worker ants, basically soldiers now. Really mean, really aggressive, really fast, really healthy, really functional ants. 
Yeah, so we think that's the good one here. If you liked what you saw, you're excited to see more, remember to leave a like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon for all notifications. Make sure to... Oh, sorry, we uh, spaced out there. Uh, <clears throat> make sure to uh, comment, share, and all that good stuff. Consider looking on our Patreon. Big Patre Patreon. <laughs> Sorry, we can't talk today. Uh, biggest thanks, of course, to our patrons, without which we would have never started all of this cool gaming, YouTubing goodness in the first place. So consider becoming part of their honored number by going over to Patreon and giving yourself a giving us a pledge of yourself for just a dollar a month. Thanks a bunch. Have a great night. Bye.